In this video, we'll look at the odds when drawing cards. The question comes right out of your textbook. It's page 318, number 10. And the question says, what are the odds against drawing a face card from a standard deck? So, before we figure out the odds against, let's figure out the probabilities. First, the probability of getting a face card. Well, in a standard deck, there are 52 cards. So the total is out of 52. What's the probability of getting a face card? It's just however many face cards there are divided by 52. And in a standard deck, there are 12 face cards. So the probability of getting a face card is 12 out of 52. That means the probability of not getting a face card, which we write probability of face card with an apostrophe to signify not getting a face card, would just be the probability of 100% or 1 take away this fraction. In other words, there are still 52 total cards, but how many of them aren't face cards? 52 minus these 12, or 40 cards. So now we have the probability of getting a face card and the probability of not getting a face card. The odds against a face card are just equal to the probability of not getting a face card. This is because we're doing the odds against, so we start with the probability of not getting it over the probability of getting it, which in this case is probability of not getting a face card, 40 out of 52, divided by probability of getting a face card, 12 out of 52. Now what's good here is we're dividing a fraction by a fraction, and hopefully you've learned already, when you're dividing by a fraction, you can just change this division to a times and flip the second fraction. In other words, dividing by a fraction is the same as timesing by its reciprocal. And that's nice because the 52's cancel out, and we're just left with 40 over 12, which is equal to, can we reduce that? Yep divides by 4, divides by 4, we get 10 over 3. Remember, odds are not a number, they're one number to another, so you can leave it as 10 over 3, or write it as a ratio, 10 to 3. That is, let's put a word answer, since this is a word problem, therefore, the odds against a face card are 10 to 3. This tells us the odds against drawing a face card. It's 10 to 3 against. Question B says, what are the odds against drawing two face cards? So we want to figure out this time, not just with one face card, but what are going to be the odds with two face cards? Okay, same thing. We can start with the probabilities again, or we can set it up with the odds first, just to see what it's going to be. Odds against two face cards. Well that's just going to be the probability of two face cards not, that is not getting two face cards, over the probability of getting two face cards. So we want to calculate both those probabilities. I'm going to need to do that somewhere on the side. Maybe I'll put a box here. And let's calculate the probability of getting two face cards. Probability of getting two face cards. Well, that's just the number of ways we can get two face cards. And the question doesn't say, but let's assume that they're not replaced and that you take these two cards at the same time so no cards get put back. That means the probability of getting two face cards, well, the first card we already know, the probability you get that first face card is just going to be 12 out of 52. And then you immediately draw the second face card. How many are left? Well, you got a 1 on the first try, which means on the second try there's only 11 face cards left out of the 51 cards remaining. So when you multiply those numbers together, you get 12 times 11, that's 132. But I need a calculator to do 52 times 51. 52 times 51, and you get 2,652 as the denominator. 
which means the probability of not getting two face cards or two face cards not is just equal to one minus that probability. That is, one minus the probability of getting a face card. It's just the opposite, whatever adds to 100. So we go 1 minus 132 over 2,652. And you get, in fact, I could write it as a decimal, but I just realized it might be smarter to keep it as a fraction just because I know those 2652s are going to cancel out. So this would be the same as 2652 over 2652 minus 132 over 2652, which is equal to 26 or 2,652 minus 132, that's just 2,520 over 2,652. So now I have the probability of not getting two face cards over the probability of getting two face cards. And I can use that to go back to my original equation. I started with the odds this time. Last time I calculated the probabilities, then did the odds, because I knew I needed them. Here I wrote down my equation just to see what I would need then I calculated my probabilities. Either method's good. Now I've got my probability, not two face cards. That's 2,520 over 2,652, all over the probability of actually getting two face cards, 132 over 2,652. And once again, a fraction divided by a fraction is the same as take that second fraction and flip it upside down, or it's reciprocal and then change that divide sign, the big one, to times. These two cancel out, and I'm left with 2,520 over 132. Well, I could leave it as a fraction, 2,520 over 132, or I can divide, just I want to see what percentage that would be. And I could do that if this were a probability but I think I'll leave it as a ratio. I, I just remembered, I was about to divide this and make it into a number. Can't do that, I almost made the same mistake I said you could make over here. Don't do it, odds have to be either a fraction or a ratio. So I could leave it as a fraction, but I can't change it to a number. Gotta leave it as a fraction. But I bet something goes into 2,520. I know 132 is made up of 11 and 12. I wonder if 12 goes into 2, 5, 2, 0, divide by 12. It does. And you get 210 over, what's 132 divided by 12? I already know, it's 11. And nothing goes into 11 that goes into 210. So I could leave it as a fraction, or I could change it to a ratio, 210 to 11. And so it's a word problem again. Just separate it from the previous question. Therefore, the odds against, in this situation, of drawing two face cards, the odds against two face cards, is 210 to 11. So that's a couple of examples of how to do odds when drawing cards.